the bottom one at the top, and the crowd getting into it, Payne and Shotgun. And it's caught, is it gonna be close? Marble, do they call it a touchdown? They're talking about it. Fireworks are going off. He extended that ball at the end of that play. are going to have to talk about it. Take another look at the replay one more time. We'll even go a little bit slow motion. We'll watch it again here and see how close this comes. He's got it. And I don't know, folks. Huge call here. And they're gonna call the ball game. And the Bears in shock at homecoming or in Ridgeline stays undefeated. It comes down to a, a call from a referee to decide the winner of this game. And that is a heartbreaker here for the Bears. everybody you are looking live here at Ridgeline High School for senior night for the River Hawks. They come into this one undefeated. The Bears coming into this one winless. We're joined tonight by Coach Clay Chernus with the call. Good to be here. Great night for football. I don't know if you can get much better weather wise. Yeah we kind of it was a little chilly last night for soccer. We were here just last night. But yeah it's Seems a lot better. Yeah, beautiful night. No wind. So this is a really nice uh, venue they've got here. They did a good job with all of the, the new construction. Of course, not too new anymore, but uh, looks great. So we'll take a quick look at the RPI while they do the coin toss. And it will slowly animate in again. Ridgeline up on top. Just below them is Desert Hills. Followed by then Green Canyon Dixie. So if the playoffs was to start tonight, your Bears would be. We would probably get Green uh, Green Canyon. Uh, chance we could actually, get possibly Dixie or Logan. If it started tonight, you'd actually be headed to Dixie. Oh, that's right. The first so the first three. First take three the getting buys. That's right. I forgot. I thought it was the first two, but you're right. It's the first three. So yeah, Dixie and Logan are who we uh, look to match up with in a, in a couple of weeks. Like he says, we got two more games. We'll host Mountain Crest and Layton. And actually, uh, I believe that uh, 
the Leighton game got got canceled. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So we got one. We got one game after this one. One game. Last last home game. That will be senior night here at Berber High School. Yeah. This will be an interesting game. Ridgeline is ad, ad, as advertised. They are a good team. They're experienced. You saw, uh, you know, earlier tonight they had their senior night. They got a ton of seniors. Uh, they are they are well experienced, well coached. But uh, we'll see what the Bears can do. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of different offense here for Bear River. Riker Jepson has a hurt wrist. Yeah, he's, he broke his left wrist. <laughs> so uh, he is out of quarterback. I know he's playing tonight. Uh, I, I believe he's going to play outside linebacker. He'll be on the defensive side. Yeah. You might see him a little bit at running back tonight. I'm not sure. Owen Olsen getting his first uh, varsity start as a sophomore. Nothing like getting your first varsity start against the number one team in the state. <laughs> undefeated. And uh, you know what? Great experience for the young man. He'll he'll be all right. He's definitely not one that's ever going to back down from a fight. I know that much. Trial by fire. But you'll see Caden Cox first as the Bears will get ready to kick this one away. Interesting, uh, Caden, uh, those of you who have been around Bear for a long time, maybe remember Dan Cox. He's the grandson of Coach Dan Cox. Dan uh, played for a couple of state titles back in the 80s at, as the coach of Bear River. Yeah, it seems we kind of got, you got ties to Ridgeline, you got ties to Logan. You yeah, got we got, <laughs> we're all over the place. Ooh, little onside kick. And they try to trick them, but the River Hawks will get good field possession here for the first time out at the 49. You know, I think you're going to see a little bit of uh, let it all hang out tonight. Uh, honestly, you got nothing nothing to lose. Um, that one just did if it had taken an extra bounce, I think they may have had a chance to get it, but the, the River Hawk guy did a good job stepping up and fielding that one in the air. So Kenny Cox will lead the Riverhawks out. There's his numbers. 1677. I think that's a little low. But an excellent quarterback. Yeah, he does a good job. Takes care of the football, delivers it on time. Yeah, 21, 21 touchdowns, one interception. That's yeah. that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Cox will start us out, airing it out, and this one incomplete. I know the MO today is uh, make him change change directions just a little bit. He had uh, Case and Burn coming off the right side on a little bit of a blitz right there. Um, did a good did a good job uh, getting into to Caden's face. Made him made him get rid of the ball just a little bit early. So I'll bring up second and ten here for the River Hawks. And before this one gets snapped. They've moved the ball to the 48. Needs to be at the 49. Yeah, I think they mis mis uh, placed the ball right there. <laughs> it was okay on us, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got Riker Jepsen playing outside back on the left side here, coming on a blitz. Little pistol look, handed up up middle, and the River Hawks will get two. That's a good job right there. Uh, looked like Jaden DeCourcy, and I couldn't tell who else, but Casey Byrne. Kaysen does a great job reading reading guards, filling, make, sticking his head in where, where uh, the action is. Good job right there. Big third down right here. Yeah, you can almost call Kaysen Burns' name on every, yeah, every you, tackle. Yeah, you can, you can pretty much count he's going to be in. Cox rolls out to his right, throws it, and this one incomplete. Intended for That's a good series right there for us. I mean, honestly, really good series. I know I – know, uh, It's big to start out that way on defense, especially. You're looking at maybe four down territory right here, though, for the Riverhawks, where you're already past midfield. Exactly. Oh, they might, they might go kick. It looks like Caden's their punter anyway. Oh, well, looks like, yeah, it looks like they are gonna elect to punt, or so we thought. He still could, yeah, kind of pooch kick it. I wonder if it's gonna be like a rugby style kick or draw us off sides and then try to, try to run a play. But got to be ready for everything. Fourth and eight. And it'll be a throw on the sideline, and he will be inbound. So a first down here for Ridgeline. Jackson Olson with the catch. That was a pretty good throw right there. 
but or, or really only his his guy could catch it. We had a pretty decent uh, coverage on it, but uh, just didn't drive on the ball quite fast enough. Looks like a sophomore out there, James Anderson on the corner there. Wide up the middle, and he's going to get stuffed. Guess who again? <laughs> like I said, almost every time. Yeah, and Burns banged up too. He's uh, he's playing. Well, he's like a gigantic bruise. I was looking. He was in the weight or the training room the other day. I said, Jesus, is there a, a place on your body that's not bruised up? He said, I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah. Him and Alec Callister both. So the River Hawks with three wideouts up at the top, one down at the bottom. Caden rolls out to his left. Plenty of time and a wide open receiver on the far side and a good move. Stepping on the line out of bounds. You'll have a first and Stratton ten with the original. Senior, number 11 with the reception. The old line did a pretty good job right there. Just a lot of time. Uh, you give you give Cox that amount of time. He's probably going to find somebody open. Simmons is eighth in the state for receiving. That's not just 4A, that's the state. And of course, Caden Cox, fifth in the state. That passing. Caden. Going to go fade in the end zone. And the Riverhawks will strike first. Little stutter and go action right there. Uh, Look like we look like we bit on the look like we bit on the stutter and just uh, got it over the top of us right there. I think that's uh, James Anderson's first start. Varsity start as a sophomore. Those are those are ones you learn. That'll be touchdown number six on the year here for Simmons. PAT underway and it's good. Ten minutes, nineteen minutes. We we'll still have to go here in the first. It's seven nothing. We'll be right back. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. It's a bit of a tough ask right there for the young sophomore to, to be covering a pretty good receiver right there and an excellent quarterback. Uh, we'll get him coached up. See if he can't get after it again. Build it by Kaysen Byrne. Not a bad return. Good return right there. Actually did a good job uh, taking care of the first level. Burns always going to be going full speed. I think he takes two steps and he's in he's in full speed motion right there. So. So there's a start at the 33, first and 10. Olsen back in shotgun. See how the young fella does here. It's a good time to shine. It's also a good time to learn a lot of things that uh, you can't learn in practice, so. Start off with a handoff, Alec Collister. Turns the corner. Flips over a guy. It's like Collister a gain of six. The left side, right. Good way to start out on a first down right there. Give you a little breathing room. On a 
So on second and four, the Bears will come out with three wideouts up top, but one at the bottom. And off again, and a great, oh, great move. Plant. Alec Collister will get a first Frank Mace Cadu first down Tripped here for Bear River. Galloway, I, I honestly think the Bears are going to be able to move the ball tonight, really. Um, our offensive line's been doing a really a good job, and obviously Alec, man, there's not many better in the state that will read a hole and, and plant the foot and get north and south. So uh, it will just be a matter of uh, if we can punch it in the end zone and how much we can handle them on defense. Ooh. This one going for the quick slant, but it's incomplete. Yeah. Ball was there. Uh, looked like so he was, was the defense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looked like he was trying to hit uh, number 88, Braden Ritter, another sophomore. He got a little. I think he may have heard footsteps on that one. That was that was pretty tough slant coming over the middle. Inside linebackers licking his chops, looking to light you up. Uh, best thing you can do is catch it and get lit up because you're gonna get hit anyway. So. Same formation, Olsen with the flick over to Collister. Another good move and fighting for yards, far side. It's a great run. Actually a pretty good little read right there by, by the sophomore Olsen. Coming around, you keep want to keep that ball as long as you possibly can, influence a lot of those other guys on the outside and then pitch so your guy has some room to run. Did a good job with it right there. Probably could have put the pitch out a little bit more in front of him, uh, but we'll take it. We'll bring a third and three. Let's check the play at the line. Eight minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Another handoff, Alec Collister. He's going to be a, probably a yard short. Uh, they gave him a pretty generous spot. I think he may have actually got the first down on the spot. Maybe not. Real close. Oh, the, oh, man, they had the spot on this guy, gave him the spot. The guy on our sidelines had him at the, had on the first down. This guy had him a yard short. Which it should be the farther guy, yeah, given always, where the ball is. Always drove me nuts on why this guy got to make the spot on that one, but oh well. Quick to the line. Olsen trying to spin for it, and I think the River Hawks will stop him on fourth and one. It'll be a turnover on down. That's too bad right there. We had, had a good little drive going. So the River Hawks defense getting the stop here on the Bears' first possession. Good penetration right there by the D line up for the River Hawks. Didn't really give, it, give us a chance to do much with that. Ridge line will start. Uh, too much differently than how they started on their first possession, turned that one into seven points. But the Bears held them to fourth down. Right. We just got to just got to do a little bit better job on third, like on the on the long plays, third and long, fourth and long. Wide up the middle. We we'll get to the 48. No wide on the run. Burn in again on another tackle. Burn with the tackle for the Bears. Gain of four. It'll be second and six. A little switch play right here. Got him deep. Going deep, a little behind and incomplete. Looking for a flag, not going to get one. Yeah, uh, honestly, uh, not a bad job. You got beat early. It was a little switch route right there. They went a little under and over, and uh, looks like uh, Tyson Brager was able to get back there and break that up a little bit. Or oh, was that Jace? That was Jace, Ro Jace Roberts. Yeah. Yeah, good speed right there. Made it. Made a good play to get back there. Probably got away with a little bit of face uh, face guarding, but we'll take it. We've been on the other end of that call plenty of times this year. So <laughs> every once in a while, you got to take a break when you can get it. River Hawks set up third six. Set up a screen pass. Nice job. And a hard hit that knocks the ball loose. It'll be incomplete. Far side. 
Great read by Alec Callister right there, coming up and just levin, letting him know there is no place to go on the sidelines right here. So. Did you see our replay? Take another a good look at a good hit. Or maybe not. <laughs> Gonna go for it on fourth again. This is fourth and six here for Ridgeline. Probably going to look for that little comeback route on the sidelines here. And again, Cox. Ooh. And a bullet Yeah. to give the River Rocks a first down. Uh, and honestly, really, uh, it's not bad coverage. I mean, I know they're completing the pass and it's a first down, but he's right there. He just needs to take another step um, in front and try to knock that ball down, but he's actually not in a bad spot. First set of downs at the 38 for Ridgeline. Under six and a half minutes in the first. Here's a handoff to White. Noah White, up the middle. That's the biggest game for White so far Brought in the game. By Roberts for the Bears. Get a little off tackle play right there. Did a, they did a pretty good job of opening up a hole, planting the foot and getting north and south on that one. Missed the tackle early. And up again, up the middle. Why with the move inside. Fresh set of downs again coming here for no Ridgeline. Yeah, looks like they're running a little, a little zone play right there. Brings Running back gets the kind of pick which Holy wants to go through. Katie Cox rolls to the right. Here's a toss and a catch. And that's a touchdown. And Waltz is in. Yeah, a little delay route coming across, coming across the ball right there. We just got lost in the shuffle. Possession, two scores here for the River Hawks. We have the PAT pending. Looks like we're in a man defense right there, and you got uh, Riker Jepson not playing a position he's no used to playing. Uh, looked like he may have been coming on a blitz, but forgot to check his back out. Kick is up and good. Five minutes, 27 seconds, still in the first. Let's see if the Bears can answer back here at Ridgeline High School. Support for him. Keenan, we love you. For a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Welcome back here to Ridgeline. 14-0 ball game. Again with Coach Clay Jernis here tonight. Pretty important for us to take a deep breath right here. Need to have a pretty decent sustained drive if we can. Still are way early in the game, but uh, we definitely need to answer here. Originally, it's a team that would run away with it if they could, and I like Collister with another good return. Yeah, with a little uh, reverse on the kickoff there. Indiana Judd on the stop, and Kyler Hansi. So first and ten from the 34. Yeah, it seems year after year the Bears just get bit by the injury bug. Yeah, this year 
Uh, last uh, last count, we had 11 varsity contributors that are not playing at all. That doesn't include all the little bang ups and you know guys like Riker Jepsen is playing with a broken hand. So it, it it's tough to to do to be consistent and be get any kind of rhythm when you just can't keep guys in a, in the the lineup. Ritter, Ritter with a good catch the across the middle of the field. That'll bring a second down here for the Bears. Good catch by Ritter. Learned from last time. Might as well catch the ball because it's going to get hit anyway. I like I like his uh, frame right there. He's a pretty big target. Moves pretty well. Case and Burn in the backfield here with Owens. And there's a flag. Yeah, pretty sure that one's gonna be on us. Just a little, a little anxious right there. So we'll re replace second down. It'll be second and nine. Again, the Bears will check the play at the line. Four minutes, 24 seconds still have to go here in the first. High snap brought down. Kaysen Byrne lowers his head. Gets forward for maybe a gain of one. If that, maybe no gain. Looks like they're trying to kind of spell out Callister and Kaysen a little bit going every other series possibly. Uh, Kaysen's a lot different runner than Alec is. He's more of a straight ahead. Put my head down. I'm going to get you through four yards. Uh, where Alec is a little bit more uh, read, read a hole and try to get some yards upfield. So big third down here. Olson going to get rocked. Ball's on the ground. Going to call it an incomplete pass. And they are. Jackson Hollingsworth. And Creedy on the tackle. So the Bears get a break, but it's still fourth down. Punt team comes out. Nelson back to punt. Fair catch called. Good punt coverage right there. You really had no choice but to call fair catch right there. I had Alec Callister and uh, looked like Aiden Wilson down there. Simmons with the fair catch call and the Riverhawks take over at the 37. I'd like to thank Cover for being a great sponsor here for Bearver Live of Bearver Athletics, custom in screen printing and embroidery. They're on Main Street, Tremont, and Brigham City. Three minutes, 31 seconds. Bubble Good. screen. Great job by Alec Callister. Got to hang on. Good read, and now Wyatt Roberts will finish the job off. Jackson Olson on the reception. Looks like a loss of two. Great read right there by Alec Kalser. Tried to go a little bubble screen, see what they could get. Alec had to beat a block to get in there and uh, made it, did a good job making a tackle. And Callister also there on the tackle for the Bears. Clock rolls at three minutes. Three wide outs up top, one running down the bottom, going deep again. Oh. Got his guy, and he breaks free. Yeah, that one on that one, Gage took it. Gage Hansen gambled a little bit right there, tried to try to step up, thought he may have had, may have had a chance to knock the ball down, and just got over his head. And 
PAT here from Ridgeline. Ball down, kick up, and good. Up and it is good. So with two minutes, 41 seconds, still left to go in the first. It's 21-0. We'll be right back. One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I've loved small classes and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me. To be able to save money, have school three minutes away from my house has been awesome. I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan and I'm an Aggie. The Pie Dumps Monthly Steakhouse Dinner is held every third Saturday of the month from 5 to 8 p.m. Call ahead to reserve your spot or get your order to go. Each month they feature delicious food with options for the whole family. Welcome back to Ridgeline High School. Two minutes, 41 seconds by the Riverhawks. 21 nothing. He says we gotta, now's the time to get on the board. Yeah, definitely need at least a halfway decent drive here. Pick up a, at least two or three first downs. Keep the defense off the field for a minute. Here's the fake to Callister. Kaysen Byrne with a whole head of steam. He gets stopped at the 30. Roger Hammond, senior with the stop. Byrne with the return. The Bears will take their third possession here at the 30. Also with a handoff here to Alec. Pushes ahead for two yards. Garrett Gassaway on the stop for Ridgeline. Curtis Morgan also there. Let's kind of flip the formation around. Three wide outs up top. Enough again here to Alec. A lot of space and a first down here for the Bears. A Frank Mace can do first down. Good job Bears. reading the gap right there. Again, he does a great job of seeing a hole, planting a foot, Brought getting up north Carter and south, Morgan. and then finishing the play. He actually got hit before the Jackson first down, was able to fight, fight forward for an extra couple Luke of yards. First down from the 42, they'll check the play. Olsen has to get it away quick, maybe a little bit quicker than he wanted to. Yeah, Olsen. pretty pretty tough play right there. You got a guy right in your face. Receiver hasn't even got out of his route yet. That incomplete pass brings up second down. Pretty lively student section. Yeah. Got him on the end. Olsen. Ritter tries to extend for that for one. Yeah, a little too high for him. He actually had, he had uh, number 19. Jaden Martin uh, on the stick route on the inside right there, but uh, chose to try to go up. He may have been able to sneak that in, but just a little bit too high. So 
So another third and ten here for the Bears. Olsen picks a handoff. It's a good route and a hard hit, but caught. It'll be a gain of four on that reception here to Gage Hansen. It's a good ball right there by Owen Olsen. That's a, a, he had to kind of hurry just a little bit, but he put it right on target. Punting back out again as it's fourth down. Good kick, another fair catch called by Simmons. Simmons fair catch. Also, just a quick announcement. We have hot chocolate at the fundraiser table. Two dollars and it we're told. So they'll mark really the ball at the Go get some hot chocolate. Sixteen at the fundraiser table. Seventeen. Yeah, it looks like a seventeen yard line. See what Coach Lish will dial up right here. They're gonna have to make some adjustments, I think, in the secondary, at least how they're playing it. Um, been going a little bit more man coverage than I think they like to go. They may have to, they may have to switch a little bit and go more zone, which makes you a little more uh, susceptible to, to routes underneath. Um, but it uh, helps protect some of the deep routes. So we'll see what they end up going with here. Only 24 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Cox and Shotgun hand off to White. White breaks a tackle, gets another pop. He'll get two yards shy of the first down. That'll probably be your final play of the first quarter. And it will be. So at the end of quarter one, Ridgeline makes themselves known. The score 21 nothing. We'll take a commercial break and be back for quarter number two when we come back. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Welcome back here to your Ridgeline High School, start of the second quarter. Actually move it back a little bit further than I thought. It's second and four here for Ridgeline. They come out with two wide outs up top. Again, joined by Coach Clay Chernus. There's a handoff to White up the middle. The Bears do a good job. Yeah. No white on the yeah, White did a, an, initially did a good job of avoiding the first guy through, but uh, had good pursuit right there by the Bears. And guess who? Alec Callister and Casey Byrne in on the tackle there. Yeah, he had Wyatt Roberts come up there and seal that edge, so he had to go back into where everybody else was at. Yeah. Sixty pizzas delivered. Punch set off to the right. Cox going deep and a catch. And a missed tackle on the far side. And there's going to be a flag for unsportsmanlike, but a touchdown either way for Ridgeline. Yeah, really uncalled for. Get in the end zone, celebrate with your teammates. Been watching too much NFL. The 
you get the official call. Aaron Young kicking. Jackson Olsen, who just ran into the end zone, holding the ball, and Budadalki hiking. Olsen gets his second touchdown of the night. That kick is up and kick is good here for the River it's Hawks. Good. 28 Ridge line. It's 28 Zero nothing Bears. with 11 08 on the clock. We'll go to commercial and be right back. Even if it's been years since you graduated, your college team is your team for life. Well, you can have a Farm Bureau agent for life, and auto, and home, and business insurance. Imagine that, one insurance agent for everything. It's that simple. So get a Farm Bureau agent for life. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits at Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. This will be the Bears' first possession here in the second half. Kicking off Ridgeline, Aaron Young, freshman. I'm going to say not over yet, but if you don't score on this one, it's going to be yeah. a rough night. There's a short kick, fielded at the 45 and carried over to the Ridgeline side of the field. Wyatt Roberts with a return. Ball will be spotted. With the 43, so good field position here for the Bears. Yeah, they get best they get. of the night. Exactly. <laughs> Olsen rolls to the left, had a little delayed flip that goes out of bounds, trying to get it back to burn. Yeah, trying to run a uh, zone option right there, but. Uh, Probably held on to the ball a little too long right there. Needed to give it up, let, let Kaysen have a chance to get upfield on that one. And that'll be for a loss because the ball went out of bounds at the 45. There's a two wide outs up at the bottom, and we're going to have a timeout called by Bear River. On the field. Yeah, play clock, play clock got down a little bit right there. So we'll take a timeout with him with 10.58. Still to go before halftime. We'll be right back. Coldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. As a proud sponsor, Coldwell Banker donates $100 to Bear River Athletics for every home game touchdown. Save time and money with Coldwell Banker. If you're selling, give Gary Madsen a call for a free market analysis. Call Jenny Goring at American Secure Title and she'll provide you with a legacy of service for all your title and escrow needs. Are you ready for a career that will deliver on the things you enjoy? Come see what Intertape Polymer Group has to offer. Pay of up to $25 an hour, additional sign-on bonus, comfortable work environment, tuition reimbursement, excellent benefits, and vacation from day one. Be part of a company that is growing every year with new products and new opportunities for you. Intertape Polymer Group. And after the timeout taken by the Bears, Olsen looks over to the right and this one incomplete. incomplete 
intended for Davis. Yeah, again, Olsen put the ball on target. It's not it's not his fault. We gotta we gotta catch the ball, we gotta make some plays. Olsen looks to pass again, gonna dump it down to Case Burn. Kaysen with a good move. Stays on his feet! Oh, he's gonna go. Showing off some speed, and there goes your shutout, Ridgeline. Good job by Casey, just staying on his feet, making a play happen. We'll take a CNR replay look. Casey and Byrne. You see him coming out of the backfield. Soft coverage on him, and he makes her pay. Yeah, you don't want to let him get ahead of steam because he's going to, even if you do tackle him, you're going to be hurting after. <laughs> PAT from Nelson is up and good. 10 minutes, 41, the Bears on the board. We'll be right back. We'll take this moment to take some more. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremont. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Welcome back at a Ridgeline High School. Team manager Jackson Boone. Cheer advisor Chetty Stoberly. Again, we'd like to thank you for supporting us by watching and also thanks to our sponsors. Also, we'll have Ryan a busy Rockhill week Hill next Street week as well. We'll have girls Ryan soccer on Tuesday. Rockhill. That one will be at home. And also then we'll do a little bit of volleyball Miller. and senior night for soccer. So we'll have two games going on at the same time on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday will be a little bit busy day. And we'll finish it off with the last football game of the regular season as the Bears host the Mustangs. Nelson kicks this one and field it to the five. Breaks one tackle, not going to get away from two. Landon Kimball on the run after the reception. Bringing the ball. Good job using the sideline as an extra guy right there, making forcing him to the sideline. Got to help there. Campbell with that run will set up shop for the River Hawks at the 29. Oh. Booster Club President John Booth, excuse Vice me. Principal Andrew Lund, Deanna Stallings also Vice Principal, and again, special thanks always to Principal Doug Snow. One wide out of the top of your screen, two at the bottom, and uh, Dwight tripped up from behind, but not after he gets a gain of four. Carrier, Noah White, burn with a stop for the Bears. White again. There's a cut inside. Hanson and Collister get him to the ground, Noah but White not before a first down for, for the Riverhawks. Yeah, I need to do a little bit better job of holding the line of scrimmage right there. Too many, uh, too many places for him to cut back on that one. So the clock rolls to the nine and a half minute mark. Red Box break cuddle, two wide outs at the top. One at the bottom and a handoff. Hit a wide and stuffed that time. 
Riker Jepsen doing a good job right there in his first start at outside linebacker. Just uh, read, read the trap play right there, stuck his nose right in the middle of it, had nowhere for the running back to go right there. Man, look at that glove. Yeah. <laughs> You know, again, got a lot of kids that are playing with a lot of heart right here. It's, 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 it's easy to, to come in and criticize a lot of, a lot of kids. Um, but you got a lot of guys that are playing hurt. You got a lot of guys that are playing both ways. And uh, they're just going to keep playing. Here's a handoff up the middle. Just shy of the 40. Kimball with the carry on that one. Burn with the stop. Bring up third down here for the River Hawks. And off up middle. And a spin move gets to the 45. No more it's gonna be a little short, yeah, a little short of the first down. It's gonna be fourth and about one and a half, two yards. See if the River Hawks are gonna punt this one or if they're gonna go for it again. Again, they've they've gone for everything that's been right around the 50 or beyond. So. Yeah, I was gonna say we haven't seen a punt from them yet tonight. Cox rolls out to his right. A little dump over, pass oh. caught. <laughs> Refusing to go Senior down. Knowles. Knowles will get a first down here for the River Hawks. It's a great catch, really just one-handed. Actually played it pretty well, um, especially where it's third and short. Wyatt had to come off and help right there when he, as soon as he did that, uh, Cox flipped it over the top. And off Noah, good block, but Case and Burn in the action again. Looks like he gained a one. Right now by Burn. Like Burn and Gekowitz right there, making a making a tackle. Several of the players for Bear River. The man in motion, they hand it off again. It'll white. Try to just get to the edge, and he does. Gonna run out of blockers. He'll just take it out of bounds. Looked like the lineman, uh, number 59. Looked like uh, Gavin Fitzgerald. Yeah, Fitzgerald for us just kind of came up field too far. He's in actually a good spot. He just moved up the field a little bit too far. Wasn't able to make the tackle coming back down. There's a handoff. White cuts back inside again. And then breaks free. And another move. And in the end zone for the River Hawks. So Noah White showing off some moves. Getting into the end zone. Extending the lead 34-7. Out to the right side, Noah White. Into the end zone. PAT for another. This one up. And just like the others, it is good. Six and a half minutes left to go here before halftime. We'll bring it back here to Ridgeline High School after a break.
We welcome you back here to Ridgeline High School on Senior Night for the River Hawks. Bears will have their Senior Night next week. Line ready to kick this one away. This one again going to be Wyatt Roberts on the far side. Good job coming up getting that ball. Save, save another bounce. Try to get it out of the air if you can. Yeah, you always hate to turn your you always hate to turn your back to yeah, people for sure. at you. Yeah, for sure. The Bears from the uh, 32. Olsen pulls it out of Alec Collister's gut. Tries to take off and run. He might get back to the line of scrimmage. Jackson, senior, number Call it second Jackson down. Collinsworth. Yeah, it looked like they might have been trying to set up a little bubble screen right there. Just defense read it pretty well. This time we hand it off to Alec Collister. That one will go for no gain as well. Olsen, looking across the middle of the field and it's tipped and intercepted. Yes. Uh, Owen's stat line's not going to look great tonight, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it's all his fault. That's about yeah. four that, that, that the receivers have dropped that are right on target. They just haven't been able to haul them in. Yeah, that one, that one doesn't count against you, but... Yeah, like I said, his stat line's not going to look great, but uh, to be honest with you, I don't think that uh, that is indicative of how he's been throwing the ball tonight. But So the River Hawks will take over the 41 with five minutes, seven seconds. Up to go here in the first half. Did we delay a game? Yeah, flag. They took a long time getting out of the huddle onto the field. First down here for the River Hawks. Delay the delay game call. You might at this point see Coach Lish just dial up a whole bunch of uh, all-out blitzes. What do you got? To, we got, don't have a lot to lose uh, right here. See if you can't get some pressure on Cox a little bit. Set the clock to 4:58. Well, that's what it reads. I think they're going up five. They're going to go five minutes. I think or 5:04. Yeah, they got it now. There you go. Man in motion. They ended off up middle. Let's try to get back to the original line of scrimmage, and they'll be a yard short of that. 
Landon Kimball on the run for Ridgeline. Kimball almost gets him there. It'll be second down. And 11. Delayed handoff. He saw a lot of green when he spun out of there, but Riker Jepson keeps yeah. it. Yeah, the front side of the play did a great job. Looks like he kind of collapsed on the back side. Had he been able to spin around out, he did have a lot of places to run. So Riker Jepson doing a good job of uh, holding on right there. Goes down for a loss of two, third and 13. Cox rolls to his left, a lot of time. It is a thrown and incomplete. Intended for Jackson Olson, incomplete. And that's in stride there for Olson. Yeah, really should have brought that one in to be honest with you. Cox took a pretty good shot from Gekowitz right there as he let go of the ball though. That stops the clock to 3.47. And a fourth and long, and we might, we might. I don't know. They tease us every time. They come yeah. in punt formation, and then they yeah. audible out of it, and there they go again. And they're going to have another delay of game, or they got to call a timeout before that happens. So Ridgeline will take their first, and we'll take our commercial break and be right back at Ridgeline High School. Back at a ridge line after kind of taken by the River Hawks. It's fourth and 13. See if we can get a stop on fourth down tonight. This will be first one if we can. Noah White off a screen. Tries to get to the edge. Callister can't bring him down. It gets to the sideline. I think he's short, though. I think he's about a five yard short of the first down, so. Just ran out of room. So the Bears, the Bears finally get a stop. Yeah, get a stop on fourth down there. It's a good job. Good pursuit by Byrne and Riker Jepson on that. Byrne came all the way from the other side of the field to help out on that one. So they'll place the ball on the 35. Northern Utah Carpets, Primary Care Pediatrics, Schreiber, Silicone Plastics, Summit Electric, the Logo Shop. Olsen looking left the whole way and into double coverage and picked off. Coming back the other way and tackled. Interception, Dylan May. Yeah, just kind of over, oh, overthrew that one a little bit. Ridgeline's going to have a block in the back back there after the after the interception, but uh, just overthrew that one a little bit. Off the good return. Case you missed it, Dylan May on the interception. Put 
put your defense back out there after they've been made a good stop. They're going to be a little bit tired now. Hopefully they can come back reset. From 32, first and 10 here for the River Hawks. Three minutes, 33 seconds. Wide in motion, heads down the field. A lot of time to throw, and Simmons can't bring it in. That's a couple now that uh, Cox's receivers really have not helped him out on. Would have been interesting to see if he'd have caught that. I think uh, Alec Callister may have decleated him on that one. He was he was in the area coming across, ready to make a hit. It would have been interesting to see what would have happened had he made the catch. <laughs> two wide outs at the bottom, two at the top. One with Noah White going out for a pass. Another pass rush. This one caught Senior and out of bounds. Knowles gets him on the bare side phone. of the field. Up the press box, a lost phone with an anime character on the front. It's a cell phone. Cox again, going to air it out, far side. Simmons catches and holds onto it this time. He's already out of bounds, so that'll go down as a catch. No, he's just incomplete. Uh, the back judge came over and said he didn't have control of it going out. It's a good recovery right there by Jace, uh, yeah, Jace, Jace Roberts. Roberts. Good recovery go going back over the top, trying to at least make a, make a play there. Like to see him get op open his hips up a little sooner and get back there, but he did a good job of trying to get back there and make a play. Second and ten from the 49. And off to White. Huge hole. You pass so you can run, and you Go run so you can pass. Yeah. That yeah, that was a pretty decent sized hole. Didn't have to do and much the there other than to hit it and go upfield. Roberts on the stop for the Bears. Cox and Shikin. One wide out here in the bottom and the handoff anyways here to wide with another good move right down the middle. Another look. Originally showing you why. Yeah, Gage Number Hansen one. did a good job of actually trying to come up and fill a hole, but uh, just got flat-footed there when he went to make the tackle, and White uh, put a juke on, and nobody in the middle of the field after that. On the snap. And another Again, PAT, and another one good here for the River Hawks. 225-42-7. We'll be right back. The Pie Group sells more than just hot rolls and donuts. They offer a full breakfast and lunch menu Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Breakfast is also served on Saturdays from 7 until noon. Try some deliciousness today. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremonton. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Welcome back to Ridgeline High School. Like I said, 
play. The defense gets their stop that they want, but the offense gives it right back. Yeah, tough to tough to be out there all the time with a high-powered offense like that. You're just going to get hurt. We got to we got to be able to take care of the ball a little bit. The last two kickoffs have been short and went to Wyatt Roberts. See what happens here. Still not putting all of it on it, but returnable far side here by Case of Burn. Burn on the carry. Other section, brother, to the Bears, other turn. Burn doing a good job finding a hole right there. Been kind of a bright spot for him, honestly, on the returns. Downhill runner gets just shy of the 40. They'll mark it at 39, 38. And that was senior Indiana Joe on the stop, the ridge line. I have to thank the Valley Headliner for getting you on the sideline here tonight. Three wide outs into the bottom. One up at the top. There's a quick throw, low, but caught. It's a good pitch and catch right there. Gage Hansen gets Gage him Hansen with the two yards from a first down. Look here for the Bears. Case and Byrne winds up. Frank Mays could do first down and won't go down until he gets onto the Riverhawk side of the field. Just got to reset your reset your mindset right here a little bit. You're not looking you're not looking to do other than to this play. See if we can get positive yards on every play. Try to get some of these young guys some experience uh, for next week. Honestly, um, you're just trying to trying to do a few things right here. Loss of one, and it off to Case and Burn again. Jacobson, senior, and Tanner Pasquet on the stop. Burn on the run again. Under a minute here before halftime. I was going to say we'll have halftime stats for you, but I don't know if you want to see them. Yeah, they may not be too great. Got to throw the ball, though, right there. Nice job. Gets Case and Burn on the far side, runs over a guy out of bounds. Let's see where they mark him. Should have enough for the first down, I think. Yeah, they got him. They got him spotted past the past the first down marker. So. Got it by a yard, so another Frank May screw first down here for the Bears. Good job by Owen right there. Um, probably could have thrown it just a little bit earlier. He did a good job putting the ball where Case and Burn could catch it. Let him turn up field, get some yardage for you. Another pistol formation here for the Bears. Everybody goes out for a pass. Here comes a free rusher, and Olsen doing a good job getting back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, once uh, once he had to step up, best thing you can do right there, step up and just throw the ball out of bounds. It's hard, hard to do as a young player. You're always trying to make a play, but uh, you got uh, jailbreak defense right there coming at you. Just uh, get up two steps and throw the ball out of bounds to one of your receivers. They were pretty well covered on that one, too. The Bears will take their second timeout, and we'll take on North with 29 seconds. Still on the clock. We'll be right back. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Are you ready for a career that will deliver on the things you enjoy? Come see what Intertape Polymer Group has to offer. Pay of up to $25 an hour, additional sign-on bonus, comfortable work environment, tuition reimbursement, excellent benefits, and vacation from day one. Be part of a company that is growing every year with new products and new opportunities for you. Intertape Polymer Group. Now for the timeout, take about the Bears stop the clock. They put 32 seconds back on it. Olsen gonna throw, and this one broken up. 
Going to Hanson again on the near side. Just a little bit late on the throw right there. Needed to throw it just a half second earlier, and I think he, think he had it. It was a good throw. Put it right on his chest, but uh, just a little bit late allowed the receiver to break on that ball, a little, or the DB to break on that ball. Third and nine. Collister comes probably, all the way out to the bottom. Probably in two-down territory right here. Going to go screen, middle screen, see what we can get. Burn, finding some holes. Got a and first down right there. Frank Mays going to do first down. And I think you're going to get a, a delay or a, a roughing the passer penalty as well. You know, there is a flag all the way back to the 49. Should be an extra 15. Added on. Yeah. Yeah, it should be from the end of the run there. We'll get the official calls. They march this one off. It is rough in the pass. That'll put you in the chant chair red zone. It looks... They're gonna, gonna call a timeout here. I think is that our last timeout? I think that's our last timeout. That is the last timeout here for the Bears. Twenty seconds when we come back. It'll be first and ten. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. sweet tooth? Stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. The Bears take their last time out. Come back with a first and 10. 20 seconds left. Free rusher gets rid of it and knocked incomplete going to Hanson. Just threw that one just a little bit behind him. May knocks this one to the ground. Got a pick, last possession. Sponsors for tonight. Thank you. I'll stop with 16 seconds. Still got time to go. But you got about at least at least two plays, maybe three, if you go in the end zone all all three times. See if we can take a chance to get a score right before half. That'd help. Three wideouts will go to the bottom of your screen. Hands in your long. Receiver up at the top. Case and burn in the back. Owen Olson. Free rusher on the edge. He trying oh, to bounce. buy time. Goes to the back of the end oh. zone and almost yeah. had Hanson. You know, pretty heady play by a sophomore right there. He gets he gets to that point, just puts it up where only his guy can catch it. I don't know who that was. I think that was Hanson in the back of the end zone. Yeah. Honestly, need to come down with that one. That was actually a pretty decent ball. I know it's a tough catch, but uh, that's where it needed to be. <laughs> yeah, that's the only place you can throw it. Yeah, only place you can throw it. Seven seconds, third and ten. They're gonna have to hurry to get this one off. They do. Now we go to the other side of the field to oh. Collister. Two seconds Callister. now. Judd. That was a pretty decent ball. That was kind of a 50-50 ball right there. 
Had two. Calster looks like it had two guys on him. Tough one to squeeze in. So we must have got off somewhere. That's going to yeah, be the Bears last time out. So yeah. the ridge line must have called that other one. Yeah, it may have been. There's two seconds. We'll be right back. College is pretty expensive and concurrent enrollment classes are like five bucks a credit. It's such a good deal financially. It's just, it makes sense. It motivates me a lot more to learn more in the class. It's been really cool to be able to not only learn new things, but also receive high school and college credit. It's not just another class that you take in high school. It's actually something that's going to help me in my future. I think that USU is really out to help students get where they want to be in life. That's what's important about a college. Welcome back here to Rich Lion High School, still in the Chen Share Red Zone. Last play of the first half. Barring a penalty. Olsen. And shotgun. Throws it across the middle of the field and incomplete. I think he was going to Pass Roberts. Incomplete. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to go to Jace Roberts right there. The just uh, play never really developed like they think they wanted it to. So the drive Seven. stalls out right at the end of the first half. A little bit more adjustments. It's 42-7 at halftime. Oh, we'll be back. We are farmers. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has you covered. Having the regional campus here in the community has been the reason that I went back to school. All my classes were in the evenings or late afternoons. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent away from my family, but so worth it. Now I can get the degree that I always dreamed. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and that's going to happen now. My name is Amy Wells, and I'm an Aggie. The Pie Dumps Monthly Steakhouse Dinner is held every third Saturday of the month from 5 to 8 p.m. Call ahead to reserve your spot or get your order to go. 
Each month they feature delicious food with options for the whole family. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Coldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. As a proud sponsor, Coldwell Banker donates $100 to Bear River Athletics for every home game touchdown. Save time and money with Coldwell Banker. If you're selling, give Gary Madsen a call for a free market analysis. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremonton. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Even if it's been years since you graduated, your college team is your team for life. Well, you can have a Farm Bureau agent for life, and auto, and home, and business insurance. Imagine that, one insurance agent for everything. It's that simple. So get a Farm Bureau agent for life. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Call Jenny Goring at American Secure Title, and she'll provide you with a legacy of service for all your title and escrow needs. Are you ready for a career that will deliver on the things you enjoy? Come see what Intertape Polymer Group has to offer. Pay of up to $25 an hour, additional sign-on bonus, comfortable work environment, tuition reimbursement, excellent benefits, and vacation from day one. Be part of a company that is growing every year with new products and new opportunities for you. Intertate Polymer Group. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Be sure to check out the wide variety of Milwaukee tools at Greer's. They'll make the perfect addition for your next project. Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Check out the Valley Headliner for stories and updates on your favorite Bear River sports, as well as local government and community events. Stay in the know with this digital news company so you don't miss out. The Valley Headliner, striving to become your number one news source.
Take a look at some halftime stats as we welcome you back at a Ridgeline High School, getting ready for the third quarter to start. <laughs> Nothing that stands out that we didn't already know. I, I, I actually thought we had more brushing yards than that, to be honest with you, but. Uh, Probably limited possessions, didn't have a lot there. Well, like always, we would like to thank you for your support by watching and then thanks to the support of all our sponsors. Next week, we'll have Lady Bears Soccer. They'll be hosting Green Canyon. That one went into overtime last time they met. That'll be a home game. Then volleyball will kick off Thursday night for Dig Pink. And then senior night for Lady Bears Soccer out on the soccer field. And then football will finish off the regular season, taking on the Mountain Crest Mustangs. Rivalry of old. Yeah, that one's been going on a while. <laughs> yeah. See what the Bears do here. Going to get the ball back uh, to start the third quarter. Again, you're going to have to define what success means right here in this half. Uh, need to need to have some positive plays. Work on a few things. Get some young guys some experience and uh, see what we can do to compete a little bit in this half. Ridgeline ready to kick this one away. Burn fields at about the 13. Stiffs on one's guy can't get rid of the second. Tough bounce right there. Ball kind of took one bounce and died. Makes it yeah. hard. To, makes it hard to do much with it. Yeah, he was wanting to catch that one on the run. So 
the ball in the 17. First and 10. Again, Riker Jefferson with a glove on, not going to be throwing the ball here in this one. Owen Olson. This first one is a handoff to Collister, who refuses to go down. It will go as a loss of one. Yeah, that play just got blown up in the backfield a little bit. Collister on the run. Several Ridgeline Riverhawks on the tackle. Second and 11. Near for the Bears. Man, Ooh. he pulls that out of Collister, but that was actually a really good read right there. Yeah. Just uh, got tripped up on the on the exchange. It was a good read. Had actually some uh, room to run right there, but just couldn't pull it down qu quite uh, cleanly. Got tripped up on the on the exchange with Callister there. Third down now here for the Bears. This one caught. But it'll go for a loss of two. They're looking for a little bubble screen there, but we missed the we missed the block on the point of attack, and there's not much you can do when you catch the ball and the guy's already there. So a tough three and out here for the Bears to start off the second half. Nelson from the end zone. It's a good pair of a roll. Yeah. Sometimes, honestly, as a as a punt returner, you got to come up and field that one. Even though probably weren't gonna, you know, get a lot of yardage on it. If I catch it, you save yourself about 15 yards. But we'll take the roll. Here it comes. Your ridge line, so a 44 offense. yard line. Anchored by center. Well, they mark it at the 43. Nine minutes, 30 seconds. Senior Little pistol look here for the Riverhawks. Pick the handoff. Hit the guy in the flat. Good open field tackle by yeah. Jace Carson Roberts. Yeah, good, good open field tackle. Um, little waggle play right there. Got the guys on levels. Hit the, hit the underneath guy. And, Give him a chance to run. Did a pretty good job tackling there. And off, and Noah White gets to the sideline, pushed out Noah of bounds. White down the sideline. Yeah, just that initial initial tackle. Got to make those. Had him stop for no gain and just uh, don't wrap don't wrap up well enough. And he's a strong kid. We'll get out, make you pay for that if you don't if you don't uh, bring him down quickly. Caden, back pedals gonna. He rushed a little bit on this throw, but Knowles up and over Jepson. Touchdown, River Hawks. Yeah, a lot, a lot of pushing and fighting right there. I thought that might have been offensive pass interference. He was uh, pushing all over the place, but didn't get the call. Went up and got the ball. We'll take another look here on a CNR replay. PAT. Up and good. Young, again. Perfect on tonight. Young tax on the extra point. 49-7 with 8 10 left to go here in the third. We'll take commercial break seven. and bring her Ridge right back into Ridgeline. Don't go anywhere.
We are farmers. Another quick strike from the number one team in 4A. Build it from the 20, gets a hole. Far side, he's only got two guys to beat. The ball goes loose, but I think he was down. He should have been down. The ref's not acting like it. And they're gonna give it a ridge line. I wanna take another look at it. See when this ball comes out. It looked to me like he was down, but yeah, this isn't gonna change anybody's mind. But hard to tell on that one. Instead of the Bears, first and ten, it's Ridgeline first and ten on their own 48. Wide in motion. He'll give it over to him. He'll be chased at the sideline and out of bounds. It's like a gain of five. Long way to run for five yards. Actually, only got about two yards oh, on wow, that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> they back them all the way back. It's all second and eight. Under seven and a half minutes left to go here in the third. Two wideouts up top, one at the bottom. And off to Kimball. Better job right there of uh, wrapping up and just letting not letting that, that play have a chance to develop. Yeah, Bears get in there, get a loss of one on that play. On the run for the Riverhawks. Third and nine now here for Ridgeline. Two wideouts at the bottom, one up at the top, man in motion. And off to White. Nope. This is Kimball again. He's going to be shot at the first down. Maybe about three yards short, looks like. Landed two yards, maybe. The yeah, they mark a two yards Zero short. Ridge line quick to the line. Another fourth down here. Hard count, everybody stays at home. Clock rolls to the six minute mark. No, why? No, Kimball again. I think he's short Nathan actually. Ball carrier, burn on the stop. Yep, gonna be short, gonna go, ball gonna go over on downs there. They didn't, they didn't get the yard to line to gain right there. Yeah, he's about a half a yard short. Yep. Good job right there, stepping up and filling the gap. And they're going to measure it. <laughs> it's really not that difficult. The first down marker is sitting on a hash mark. If you're not on the hash mark, you're probably not a first down. I don't know. Well, that stops the clock with 5.36 left to go. You're in the third quarter. I'd like to thank Tanglewood Studios for being a great sponsor. Change are coming out for He'll have a halftime performance next week. Yep, 
I mean, I'm <laughs> not, uh, yeah. sure, not sure why you measure that. That seemed to be pretty uh, obvious. It was almost a full yard short, but. Turnover on downs. Good job by the Bears defense right there, stepping up and getting a, a turnover. Only the second time they've stopped the Riverhawks here this evening. The first time they had a turnover on their first outing on the offense after the turnover, or after the defensive stop. Looking for something a little bit better this time. Two yeah, see outs. if we can get something sustained here. Across the middle, a good catch and brought down in a Riverhawks territory. Good throw right there. Got to keep doing that. Looked like uh, is that? That's Breger. Yep, Tyson Breger. I thought he was. I didn't, wasn't sure he was going to play today. Looks like he's getting in, getting a little time. That's good. Looks like you got about six sophomores out there right now. And off Case and Byrne, cuts it inside. Good run right there. This gonna is be, gonna be this is gonna be close. Yeah, I should I honestly I don't think they spotted the ball very well right there. It should have been a first down. Just where he was at, where where his body was at. Uh honestly, oh they're gonna give it to him. I yeah. Where he ended the run, it just should should have been a first down where it was the, the sticks were out on the line anyway. So Frank may do first down. Here's a handoff. Case and burn again. And again. Paul's one guy over after getting a burn good game. The carry. Again, J.T. White, freshman. Running the ball well right here. Keep it up. Like I said, you got to find some things that you can uh, feel like you can be successful with and just uh, work one play at a time right here, see what we can do. Jason Byrne from the backfield breaks a tackle. Good job shaking a tackle right there, making something positive out of something negative right there. And another Frank Mace could do first down here for the Bears. Case and Byrne. I told you there's a couple of guys. I don't care what the score is. They're going to give you everything they got. Kaysen's one of those guys. He just has one motor, and that's go full speed. Him and Alec Callister, uh, three or four of those guys on the offensive line. You know, they're not the biggest guys. They're not the strongest guys, but you're not going to get them to quit. So. Now they bring Alec in. Little zone read right there. Olsen. Uh, Quick on Collister to get that one back. Yeah. It'll go down for no gain. Got a little, it looked like Alec got a little bit ahead of himself. Wasn't a bad pitch, just was looking up to see what he could do to run and didn't quite secure it first. Yeah, Ridgeline not very quick to bite, so he's got to hold on to that probably yeah. a lot longer than he wants to. All right, they, they played it just right as a defense on an option play. You want to you want to ride it out as long as you possibly can, keep the ball in line of scrimmage, use the sideline as your friend. Here's another oh, quick slant, popped goodness. up and picked off. Yeah, again. <laughs> Oh, it's that line going to look like three picks, but uh, two of the three are are balls that we should catch and uh, get get uh, tipped and picked. It's too bad right there. Stokes with the pick here for the River Hawks. Just a little tip drill. Two minutes, 16 seconds. Still have to go in the third. I know, a really good play call right there. I mean, you've been running the ball really successfully. Yeah, you got a big, tall kid right there Here coming across. Play was open, ball was there. We just got to make make the play. Anchored by Buda Dalkey. To the River Hawks, have it at the 12. Again, a minute 46 in the third. Caden, back to the three, lets it go, breaks one tackle, burn, make sure he gets out of bounds. The catch. Olsen with the reception here for Ridgeline. 
Driven out of bounds. By Byrne. And uh, Dwight shakes one guy, a little shimmy. They'll get tackled shy of the first down. Little stretch play right there, got, uh, got around the corner and uh, got no good speed. Run, tackled, tackled by Scott. On defense, I failed. To bring attention, Connor Hansen was on the tackle. Senior Connor Hansen on the tackle when Ridgeline was on defense. Ten seconds to get this play off here for Ridgeline. Two at the bottom, one up at the top. Hand off, Noah White right up the middle. Now works it to the near side. And Jepson saves six points. On the run. Probably let the clock run out. Yeah, probably not going to get another play on this quarter. And that's where we'll have it at the end of the third. It's 49 7 here on Senior Night for the River Hawks. We'll bring it, bring it back for the fourth and final quarter when we come back. Reserve the Pinehams back room for any occasion, day or night. Whether it's for a birthday party, wedding celebration, or your weekly meetings, they've got you covered. There's plenty of room, and if you want, they can cater your special event, or you can simply order off the menu. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremonton. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Well, welcome back here to the fourth quarter of Ridgeline High School. The River Hawks with the lead. And off, this is Kimball, far side. I get pushed out of bounds at about the 40. Maybe just shy of the 40. Second of five. This one, a dive up the middle. Gonna be a yard yeah, short of the first the down. Kimball again. <laughs> Get him with the throw and incomplete going to Simmons. A little off night here for Simmons. Yeah. yeah, he's had, uh, that's at least three that I've seen that he should have caught. Noah White. Tries to get to the edge, but it's closed for business. He still gets a first down. Senior Noah White on the carry. Yeah, only got a yard, but they only needed about a half a yard, so. Xander Lish on the tackle for the Bears. Yeah. 
Campbell not ready to receive the ball on that handoff. Yeah, not, not sure if he thought that was going to be a pitch. And uh, Cox thought it was going to be a handoff, kind of a tweener there. They just get back to the line of scrimmage, no game. Timeout taken by the River Hawks. That'll stop the clock with nine minutes, 10 seconds. We'll step aside and be back. Let's do. Even if it's been years since you graduated, your college team is your team for life. Well, you can have a Farm Bureau agent for life and auto and home and business insurance. Imagine that, one insurance agent for everything. It's that simple. So get a Farm Bureau agent for life. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. After the time now taken by Ridge Line, we welcome you back. Nine minutes, nine seconds left to go here in the ball game. Second down here for Ridge Line. Looks like they made a change of quarterback. And a running back. Maybe the offensive line, too. <laughs> Quarterback for Ridge Line, Trace Dustin. So Case Dustin, your quarterback here for the Riverhawks now. Eight and a half minutes. Third down. Here's a quarterback keeper. Trace Dustin on the keeper for Ridgeline. Dustin will get three yards shy of the first down. That's the one thing that, uh, that uh, this quarterback will give you that Cox probably doesn't a lot is the ability to run. Cox is definitely an in-the-pocket guy. Can't throw on the run, but doesn't really look to run at all. Ridgeline again goes for it on fourth down, handoff, and stopped. Bears will take over on down. Not sure I really understand the going for it on fourth down all night. It's kind of a weird choice. Yeah, they did it even way early on. Yeah. And they're successful early, and that's that's fine. You're up 49 to seven. There's no reason to be going for it on fourth down. Give your field goal kicker a chance to kick one if you want to. See if you got a long field goal you can make, or punt the ball, put it on the five yard line. That's a new score. You got clean slate in your record book. Yeah. Here's a handoff. Alec Collister. He'll get wrapped up and taken down. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Take it down. In the 31, the Bears have three cutter. Second and ten, six and a half minutes left to go. Three wide outs up top, one at the bottom. Pick the handoff, cross the middle on this one. Batted up again. But this one falls incomplete. Yeah, I just didn't get that one up high enough. Kind of looked like he didn't get the exchange just right. Might have threw it off the back foot a little bit. Yeah. 
Same formation here for the Bears. Olsen will scramble out to the right. Still looking downfield. Hey, Collister's open. He gets open. it over to him. There's a Frank Mason do first down as he elects to stay inbound and get into Ridgeline territory. Great job by Owen buying some time, seeing some people open, trying to get, trying to make something out happen. We'll split the double wide outs. There's a keeper here for Owens who gets hit forward. It's a good read by uh, Owen. Uh, honestly, that's that's a tough read. Um, it's one you got to look at really quickly and decide whether you're going to hand it off or you're going to keep the ball. And he did a good job because uh, they bl they blew up the the play on the on the right side of the line. Owen uh, keeping the ball right there and getting like, some positive yards out of it. They gave him a gain of four. It'll be second and six. Olsen left alone in the backfield. There's a throw, middle of the field. Caught, and the ball goes loose. And it is just not the Bears' night. Yeah. All right, Indiana Jones. Recovery. Good night, football. All right, students, pull up your cell phones. Actually, yeah, have an injured Riverhawk down. We'll take a look at the replay first. Try to get a number on the injured. Olsen doing Rachel. a good job finding a guy in his own, sitting down, making a catch. Let's see you like Just got to hang on to the football. Player down. We have a player down. So the clock stops at 4 minutes 12 seconds. Looks like number 26 we need is your injured Riverhawk. Principal Doug Snow or administrator in the press box. Any administrator in the press box. Able to get up and walk off, grabbing his wrist. So first and 10 for Ridge Lion on the 31. We'll have a quarterback keeper again. He might have got a yard or half a yard on that one. It'll be second down. Don't forget everything pumpkin at the pie dump that started today. And that stuff goes fast. You can call ahead early and they'll set some aside for you. There's a sack here for the Bears. Good job. Got a flag down on the – looks like Fierce Miller with the sack, but I'm not sure what the flag was there. Maybe a hold. Yeah, it looked like it was a hold on them. Looks like they're going to de decline the penalty, take the result of the play, which was almost 10 yards anyway, so. Yeah. There's your official holding call. As Lee said, decline that one. 
play on. It's a good job by Fierce Miller. He got got kind of beat there on the outside, but was able to stay with the play long enough to make this to make the sack. So again, some young guys getting some time to play here. There's a screen to the far side. Roberts and Miller over on that side. Push really, back. really good job right there by Wyatt Roberts. Um, fighting through a pretty decent block by the wide receiver, but just fighting through it. Carson Cox on the reception for Ridgeline. Tackle by Roberts. Punting situation here, fourth and 20. Yeah. Four than 15, maybe. High kick doesn't go very far. Takes a bear for bounds at the 50, or rolls on the bear side. Almost blocked that one. Had, a, had somebody come through. Got got fairly close there. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how many times Ridgeline's actually punted this season. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that's uh, unique to this game or if that's just kind of their game plan or what, but One minute, 46 seconds. Ball on the 49 of Bear River. Owen oh, Olson, another tip drill. This one falls incomplete. Yeah, probably need to throw that one a little sooner. Missed the check down on that one. We're running clock the rest of the way in this one. We are almost to the minute mark. And a broken play. Yeah. Oh. Not <laughs> But Owen Olson will get a yeah. Frank Mace Kidu first Olson down. Makes something out of nothing right there. I don't know. I don't know who was in the backfield with him, but he did not did not know what was going on. We have the flag on the far side. We'll catch what that is. Face mask against the River Hawks. Olson getting free in space and throwing a Ooh. pass. Gonna it's call incomplete. it incomplete. Yeah. Looked like he stepped out right before right before he caught the ball as one foot stepped out. Please stay off yeah, the field. Yeah. One last play. We're gonna get to the line. Eight seconds. They do get it off in time. I didn't think they did, but there's a pass over far side, caught and hit out of bounds. And that'll be how this one ends. So a uh, takeaway from this one is that it's over. You scored one more point against them than Green Canyon did. Yeah, that's true. I, I honestly, really, we we moved the ball uh, quite often. The three tips for interceptions really hurt. Honestly, that 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 kills you. 
Um, so I think, you know, those are some things you can clean up against Mountain Crest. Um, hopefully you get a couple of people back against Mountain Crest. We have a little bit more of a full team and uh, see if we can't be a little more competitive there. Again, you know, you knew coming into this it was going to be a tough, tough row. Um, Ridgeline is as expected. They're, they're pretty good, and uh, we are beat up. Um, like Chris said, 13 guys that have uh, contributed lots of time to varsity this year not playing tonight. So that's tough to overcome, but uh, I actually thought uh, Owen Olson did a, did a pretty good job tonight for first varsity start. He didn't miss many many receivers. We just uh, could could bring could all, could all a few of those in. So felt like our, felt like our kids battled. You know, even in that second half, we we had the the drive that uh, again got tipped and, and picked. Um, didn't give up. Still look still were looking to drive the ball. Yeah, it's hard to get. It was hard to get momentum at all. Yeah, for sure. And like right when you, you started getting it, like your defense got the stop, you gave it right back. Yeah, cool. yeah. Turn, turnovers really, really hurt against uh, really good teams. It's it's tough to really overcome that. You have to you have to be pretty good yourself. And uh, tonight we just weren't able to do that. So we would like to thank our sponsors for putting an end to this week. We had... We had a fun one on Tuesday at Mountain Crest for volleyball. Yeah. Getting it done in five sets, huh? Yes, that was an exciting one. Then we was here last night with girls soccer. And we'll finish it off here with football next week. Full slate again. It's all thanks yeah. to these wonderful sponsors. Shout out to Erica Olson. She's playing for a state title in tennis tomorrow. Oh. Nine o'clock, Liberty Park, if anybody's going down. Owen's, Owen's older sister is going to play for a state title. So she did a great job today. Got into uh, beat two really good players from uh, the southern region. And uh, we'll end up facing a girl from, uh, I think, Green Canyon tomorrow. So it'll be an interesting match for her. So probably somebody she's already faced once. Yeah, in region. It was a little bit of an upset in region. So she'll have a chance to get a little revenge for the state title. So that'll be good. That's how, that's how the football did it last year against the Green Canyon foe. So we'd like to thank the Pied Up Lincoln Financial Academy, Mortgage Tanklewood Studios, Coldwell Banker, Utah State University, Chancellor Sod Farms, Soda Fix, American Secure Title, West Liberty Food, CNR, Greer's Group, West Hardware, Frank Mace and the Tate Polymer Group, Utah Farm Bureau Insurance, Cover Up, Kent's Market, Butter Tractor, The Grill, and Farmers Insurance. Agent there, Jared Summers. We like to thank all these sponsors for making this possible. We'll have soccer for you next week. Enjoy the weekend. We'll hit it hard. You've been watching Bear Live.